DeepSeek have just released their new model, Janus Pro B, and this is a multimodal model. You can see this tweet from Rowan Chung. This new update from DeepSeek was just released hours ago, and it's already claimed to be a better version. And you can see it's multimodal, so it can actually generate images, and also it's beating OpenAI's DALI 3 and stable diffusion across several benchmarks, which you can check right here. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how to use it today, plus compare it versus ChatGPT and show you how you can get free access to this tool. Now, this is pretty crazy because this is all happening whilst DeepSeek has actually been hit by a cyber attack. And at the same time, DeepSeek just overtook ChatGPT on the App Store, as you can see right here in this tweet by Disclose.tv. Chinese DeepSeek AI surpasses ChatGPT and now tops Apple's free app download rankings in the United States. Pretty wild stuff. All of this is happening at the same time. The founder of DeepSeek is just tweeting memes like a savage during this process. And with that, let's get straight into using Janus Pro. So if you want to get access to this, you can get it available at huggingface.co. I'll include it in the video notes from today. You just go to huggingface.co forward slash spaces forward slash deepseek hyphen ii forward slash Janus hyphen pro hyphen 7b. And so what we can do from here is we can actually start generating images. Now, this can not only generate images, but it can also understand images too. So for example, if we say to Janus Pro 7b, explain this meme, you can actually change the temperature over here. You can change the prompt. And if we click on chat, is going to give us a response. What you can see here is it's actually a little bit slow because it has to wait for a GPU. I think because this has just been launched and also you can run this locally, but it requires a lot of power. Like I tried to run it locally before on the Janus Pro 7B method, didn't work at all. Just gonna save you a lot of time there if you're thinking about hosting it yourself from the GitHub. So you can see the response here from the AI. It says, this image is a humorous comparison between two types of visual encoding methods using the popular buff doge versus cheems format, all right? And that's exactly what we've got right here. It explains exactly what it is. It's written in that mark. And so basically this AI can look at images and understand what's going on. Now, if we actually take the same image, so let's grab that. We're gonna run this through ChatGPT and compare, okay, which one is actually giving us the best output. So if we use exactly the same prompt and we'll compare DeepSeek Janus Pro versus ChatGPT and we'll see which one gives us the better output now let's test this model out for generating images so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug this prompt in that says ai cat eating biscuits and actually we need to go down here and plug in the prompt there so we're going to say ai cat eating biscuits generate images and you see we have to wait for the gpu to become available we'll try the same prompt inside chatgpt4 and compare dali 3 which is chatgpt's image generation model versus DeepSeek's image generation model, which is Janus Pro B. So let's generate the image now. We've already got the image back from ChatGPT. Like you can see, kind of weird looking cat there, half AI eating some jammy dodgers. That's what we like to see. Now we've got the image back from Janus Pro. And if we click on full screen over here, you can see that we can see what the image is like. Now, if I'm looking at that image, I'm like, it is a little bit unrealistic. Like you see how there's just a biscuit floated in the air there and the image is kind of half in its mouth but honestly it's not very convincing like if someone asked you okay is that ai or not you could probably identify that it's ai pretty quickly same for this one right unless there's no gravity in this cat's in space it's still not that convincing i mean i've seen better images and i'll show you a better way to generate images in a minute but yeah so far i'm not that impressed with the outputs obviously this is a test run if we had to compare these both this one versus this one honestly i probably wouldn't use either like i don't think either of these images are particularly great maybe you need a better prompt what i'm going to try now is we'll go into grok grok is one of my favorite image generation platforms and the good thing about grok as well is it uses flux right flux is a really good model for generating images but additionally these images feel a lot more realistic they feel a lot more real and also you can see how quick it is for generating the images so if i had a choice i'm like right okay probably in this order grok created the best images by far, I mean, there's definitely gravity in that image, right? The biscuits aren't just floating in midair and the cats are having a great time. Look at that. Whereas, for example, if you go on ChatGPT, who is going to use that image? Where are you going to use that image, right? How realistic is that? And then also, if we go into DeepSeek as well, the image is quite pixelated, number one, but also it just, it doesn't make sense. Like, unless these are space biscuits or, you know, we're creating some surrealistic art here, you just wouldn't use that image, right? Like, how is that image going to help you? So Grok is winning by far, by a long, long way. Now we're gonna go with some of the base prompts inside 
Janus as well, because you can see it's got some default prompts that it recommends. So, for example, Master Shifu, Raccoon, wearing drip attire as a street gangster. That sounds promising. So we're going to generate the image. So let's plug in the prompt there. We'll hit generate image. You have exceeded your free GPU quota. That's it, GG, folks. So instead, we'll just find another space host in Janus Pro. So we'll wait for that to be available. And you can see it's generating the image now. So I just had to refresh the page and then we we're good to go. If we do the same thing inside Grok, we'll see what we get back. And we'll do the same thing inside ChatGPT as well. I think I already know what the answer is going to be inside ChatGPT. I was testing it before. But let's see what we get back. And you can see here, yeah, this is it. So ChatGPT actually refused my offer, right? So it was like, I wasn't able to generate that image due to content policy guidelines, right? So it's kind of like censored from creating images around this sort of stuff. I think it's because of Master Shifu, probably like a trademark term or something like that, or because it relates to a movie. And then it's like, if you'd like, you can just adjust the concept or suggest a different idea. I'll do my best to help. Now, if we go to Grok, Grok has done it perfectly. Look at those images. Boom, shakalaka. I also like the fact that inside, for example, ChatGPT, you only get one image choice, right? You don't get loads of different choices. You only get one single one that you can download a test. Whereas inside Grok, you can test four different ones. Pick the one you like, and you live in the Master Shifu dream, aren't you? Whereas inside, for example, Hugging Face, it's actually generated an error right there, and we can't use it. And I found that a lot. Like, it's been super buggy this morning trying to use Janus Pro 7. We'll give it another whirl now, so it's regenerating the image. So we've got the image back of Master Shifu here. It's okay. I still probably won't use it because it feels kind of like a, you know, cartoonish almost. If you look at this, number one, the resolution is not great. Number two, the details on the face are not great. Again, I think you can easily tell that it's generated by AI. And also, the quality is not that high either. But it's promising, right? Like, don't get me wrong. This is a promising sign for AI. It's fascinating that you can do this, etc. But if I had a choice and I'm looking at all the benchmarks versus what I'm actually getting, I'm like, right, okay, Grok, still doing the best, right? That's the best image we got. Whereas, for example, ChatGPT couldn't help at all. And DeepSeek Janus Pro 7B was okay. It was okay, but I still wouldn't use those images, you know? Now, we can actually look through the white paper from the GitHub, so you can see the details on it here. And if we compare all the benchmarks from what we can see, and I always take this with a pinch of salt because obviously it's coming from the company that releases the technology. And don't get me wrong, like I absolutely love DeepSeek R1. I think it's a powerful tool. But you can see here, Janus Pro is rated at the top. Whereas for example, you got these other models like Dali 3, etc., down here. Now, Janus Pro 7B is in the dark blue so you can see on benchmarks it's outperforming everything else by quite a long way and you can see the details of janus versus janus pro 7b right so janus pro was his predecessor janus pro 7b is a more improved version and the quality is massively different right so if you look at how pixelated and how unrealistic that looks versus this one it's definitely improved a lot now what you can also see here is a prompt that says a clear image of a blackboard with a clean, dark green surface and the word hello written precisely and illegibly in the center with bold white chalk letters. Let's test that prompt out and see if it actually works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to all three models and I'm going to say generate a neon billboard. So let's test this out. We're going to generate a neon billboard with Julian Gold SEO written on it. See what the response is like for generating. One thing to note here is I actually ran out of GPU because of the limit on hugging face so i've upgraded for you took one for the team there but that's the price of beta help you out so we're going to hit on generate images now that seems to be a lot faster to be fair when it's responding i've said generate a neon billboard with julian gold seo written on it see what sort of text we get back from it and that is the response so far look at this not ideal mate if i'm honest with you ai is notoriously bad for generating images with text on that is not usable at all. If we go into Grok, you can see the images we've got back using the same prompts to generate any on billboard with Julian Gold SEO written on it. And you see the images are nice. Like they're pretty usable. You could use that on social media or Twitter or whatever you want. If we go on to chat GPT, let's see what we got back here. It's pretty much failed as well with the text. It would have actually passed, but then it added some extra text to the bottom. We don't know why. It just wanted to fail the test. I'm not sure why. So again, I would still stick with Grok. And also, when I was checking the benchmarks inside this report, I couldn't see anything on Grok or Luna, which is what Grok is using to generate images. So there's nothing about Luna inside here on ter in terms of the benchmarks. So if you compare them for this particular test, it's Grok did the best. ChatGPT did good if you just crop it down 
down to there, then Jane SMB Pro is not on is not in the race, if I'm honest with you. And it could be a long day in the office. But don't get me wrong, Deep Seek R1, absolutely amazing. Deep Seek version three, very impressive. API is awesome too. It's just 7B Pro, and it may be because I've not prompted it properly, or because it's just using the online version on Hugging Face instead of using the local version. I did try and set the local version up. Doesn't seem like it ran. It was pretty hard to set up, and nowhere near as easy as, say, using something like Olama. So I wouldn't recommend that. You would save a lot of time messing around, and also you need a powerful GPU for the process. That's basically it. That's how we've compared Janus Pro. I've showed you how to use it, how to get free access to it, how to prompt it and also how it compares versus say ChatGPT or Grok. Grok is still my favorite for generating images. Then it'd be ChatGPT, then it'd be Janus. Honestly, I probably wouldn't use Janus at this point until the full version comes out properly. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to my free community with 3,500 members, feel free to get that link in the comments description full of 3,500 AI SEOs just like you who you can call upon for help. Additionally, inside the classroom, you'll get access to a free AI SEO course including tips on AI agents, operators, browser use and computer use agents, AI SEO workflows for building out websites and apps and tools. Along with that, you'll get 50 free AI SEO tools and 200 free chat GPT prompts directly inside this course. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot on the free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan, so that'll be a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more sales and profits from your website. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building or answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building and add to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you see right here. Feel free to put that in. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.